Hey, this is Amanda with Seven Sparrows Farm. And if you're watching this video, then you are probably interested in this uh, garden planning software called Seed Time. I love it and I use it and I want to share with you the three reasons why. And if you want to try it for yourself, there's a link in the description. There is so much in seed time that I could show you, but I'm going to try and focus on just my top three things. So this screen here is the calendar view, and this is where you'll go when you first log in. I love this because it is super intuitive. One of the things I like most about it is, let's see, oh, today is March 23rd, and I have forgotten to seed my tomatoes. Oops. I can just grab this and drag it down here, and it will change the entire timeline for my tomatoes. So it records that new seeding date, it changes the transplanting date, and the harvest date automatically. Okay, another thing that I love about this program is it makes things that were really complicated super simple. Before, if you wanted to harvest carrots for more than just two weeks, you know, you have to keep planting them. We call that succession planting, but nobody really remembers to do it when they're supposed to. This really helps. You can come up here to your carrots and click on these three little dots and add a succession. And it like magically adds another sowing date and another harvest date. And you can just keep adding these so that you will keep being reminded to sow your carrots so that you can keep harvesting carrots. And you can do this with anything. And the program has this information built in so you don't have to figure out like, okay, well, how long do I have to wait before I sow more? And when am I gonna be able to harvest them? It's great. The third thing I wanted to show you guys is this task list feature. Um, we have been in the calendar function of seed time, but I'm now down here in tasks. And what seed time does is it takes all the information that you've put into the calendar view and it imports it into a weekly or daily task list. It does two things. It will tell you what you're overdue on. So the stuff that I missed doing, and it will show you what you've got to do this week. And you can just go ahead and check those off right there when you do them. You can also print this off if you want to have it on paper to take out into the garden with you. You can filter tasks. So if you just want to see what you have to seed that day, or if you just want to see what you have to transplant, or just want to see what should be ready to harvest, you can see that. They also have other options for cultivating and bed preparation. And yeah, it's just really useful because I tend to get a little overwhelmed. So we've already looked at the calendar view and the task view. This is the journal view where you can make notes throughout the year. You can even put in pictures from the garden. You can tag your different um, plants that the notes have to do with. It's super cool for record keeping and looking back at things. It also has a classroom feature where you can watch videos and take classes about different methods of growing, seed starting, different plants. There's also a Facebook community and one of my favorite things, they have a store and they have all non-GMO seeds and a really great selection of organic and heirloom varieties. So anything that you want to get, you can get it right here. One thing people have asked about is a garden layout feature. And while it's not in the features yet, just between you and me, it's coming in the next update. Again, if you want to try out seed time for yourself, check out the link in the top of the comment section in the description. And if you want to see more videos about how I'm gardening this year, check out these.